All right, so this is my Blade Fusion 480. I had it about uh, a couple weeks now and got up roughly around 10 flights on this helicopter. This is my review and my thoughts and my opinion on this helicopter. Overall, the build quality is really nice. The carbon fiber blades are really pretty. I like the design of it. I like the canopy color. Uh, I like the size. I like the um, option to be able to stretch it to a 550. That's pretty cool. Um, I like the oversized tail boom here without the tail boom support. That's really cool. The carbon fiber um, plates are really thick. Quality is good. The tail is nicely designed. It's very beefy. Um, so it's, it's definitely a lot of thought they put in through the design of this tail here. It's very obvious and it's actually well thought out, well engineered. Really enjoy that. Um, I'm gonna go take off the canopy and show you the electronics and which one I got. I, I got the version that's the Smart Super Combo Kit, which comes with the electronics and everything and the servos. Um, everything else. So, so let's take this canopy off. All right. So, you can see it's got the smart ESC and smart ESC is really nice. The only issue I have with this is when you exit off of forward programming, um, it doesn't do a soft start up where it's actually programmed. So I, you know, this whole kit came with the uh, ESC programmer as well. And uh, when you have it set to a soft startup, or you can actually set it to a super slow startup, whichever option you set it to, when you are in forward programming, try to get this helicopter dialed in um, and you try to uh, take off again, it does not do a soft startup the second time. What you have to do is either turn the throttle hold on and off a couple times or disconnect it from the battery and reconnect it, which is a pain. I'm surprised they did not have a firmware update that addresses that issue. Um, it's kind of a hassle to have it disconnected or um, through the throughout the hold several times for it to reset um, to you know do a soft um, startup. I didn't know what the issue was. I thought at first it was a mechanical issue or my setup is wrong initially, but then looking online, asking some people around, actually even looking at um, Spectrum's own YouTube um, YouTube uh, uh, channel, it, it actually they are well aware of this if you want to call it an issue. Uh, but still has no firmware update yet. So that was a little disappointing with that. The motor. <clears throat> this is the uh, motor that came with it. Um, the On the super smart super combo kit. And I believe it is a Blade 4320-1300kV motor. It's really nice. I like it. I don't really have any issues with it. I only do sport flying. I don't do any 3D. More than adequate for my style of flying. Really love it. Straps. These straps are pretty good. I think someone said these straps are not good online and they got scorpion skirt straps. I don't know if that's necessary. Um, the straps I have or that came with it, I think it's more than adequate. Oh, one more thing. I did mount the ESC down here. The manual calls for it to be mounted underneath this battery tray here, but it doesn't fit. These screw holes do not line up with the ESC in this Super Combo Kit. I think this is for a different type of brand um, ESC. Um, that's disappointing because they should have um, modified this um, to actually fit with the one they include in the Super Combo Kit. Now to the servos the servos that came with the smart super kit is the 6050 spectrum and also for the tail it's the 6060 so you got a 6050 and the 6060 that came with the smart super combo kit these servos i was a little concerned because i guess they're supposed to be budget servos um it's a hit or miss uh for me it looks like on my seventh flight again this is all non 3d flights i do uh, just sport flying. 
Uh, and uh, I think on the seventh flight, the tail servo locked up and broke. Um, so I luckily I was able to land it without actually having any crash damages or anything like that or crash landing or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, the servo uh, locked up, it burned up or something like that. It smelled like burnt rubber or burnt plastic. I did contact Horizon notifying them that about the issue. They actually sent me a replacement, but I'm afraid to use it because I don't know if these are going to fail and give me a problem in the future. So reliability might be an issue. So I am a little concerned. Um, I actually bought different ones. I actually have the torque ones um, that's, that are here. Um, I'm gonna switch them out to the torque ones uh, pretty soon. The head setup was really, really easy, straightforward. Um, I like the build quality on the head as well. Um, nice to have that little line markers here to making sure it lines up. So people say these don't line up for some reason for, for theirs. I think mine line up uh, pretty well. Um, uh, what else? Oh, yeah, the flight controller. The flight controller, I really like this flight controller. It's the FC, I think it's the what, FC 6250HX. It's, it works really, really well. One little issue I had with this was you're supposed to calibrate this. It would not calibrate. Uh, I contacted Horizon Support, one of the techs told me not to trust the bubble leveler, which I thought was the funniest thing I ever heard. Um, I think bubble levelers are either, um, you know, it's not like it, it works. It's some, I, I don't know why he would tell me, he or she would tell me not to trust the bubble lev leveler. At any rate, what the issue turned out to be is that when you level this, um, you do have to most likely move the tail boom down and it'll level, which without an issue, but you gotta make sure the motor, one of the cords, um, the motor wires, which I have it tucked down here, is unplugged. As long as one of the motor wires is unplugged, it will not be an issue when you're calibrating this. So I ran into the issue of not knowing that you're supposed to have un one of the wires unplugged before you calibrate this, and it would not calibrate. Reached out to tech support, they told me not to trust the bubble leveler, which I thought was really funny, but anyways, um, that's all that was. Um, so this is a really good helicopter. I really enjoy it, building it, flying it, going to switch out these servos. Definitely not reliable in my experience. And I'll show you the new ones I got um, and go from there. Um, and that's pretty much it. And uh, I have a I, I'm pretty much... Um, a beginner with the helicopters. I have a T-Rex 250, a T-Rex 500. They're all fly bar, and this is my first fly bar list helicopter. Um, and uh, I do like the quality. It is a lot bigger than my T-Rex 500. That's fly barred. Um, so that's what I have. I fly it on Spectrum. Um, let's see here. 4,000 battery packs. 